Hello and welcome to round three from the face-to-face uh, -face box tournament from January 28th, uh, I believe it was, here in Toronto. Um, my name is Travis Provick. And I'm Shane Rim. And uh, here we have a match between Ryan and Don. Uh, Ryan is playing traditional aggro uh, Veers Django, Elite Veers Elite Django. And uh, Don is playing a slightly less typical uh, Poe Elite Leia deck. So I'm interested to see what, what Don's going up. Uh, Don, I, I know very well from the Star Wars Armada community. Uh, we, he was actually uh, the runner up to me in the 2016 or 2015, 2015. Uh, Armada Canadian Nationals. So I've known Don for, for a couple of years. Uh, good guy. You're probably thinking because you know it, he would have been in the 2016 if you weren't doing the excellent video productions for that. Yeah, that, sure. that as well. Um, I say it's a trap in Don's hand. Which I'm sure is one of the keys of this deck as well. You see in any kind of mono red hero deck, it's Chap being one of their best cards. Uh, it'll be a monster once they get a few more red guns. Um, but here, it's a trap even off the base. You know, you're looking at seven damage yep. uh, if you have that resource for Poe. So a few guns, and that can get quite scary, especially when Django Veers is guaranteed to give you a gun to fire off of very quickly. So we'll see if that works out for him against a very strong Django Veers. Uh, Let's see deck. what they. So they're using a dice tray, uh, and I think that's four, no, sorry, five for Django Veers, and only three for, so it's going to be Ryan's choice. Looks like Ryan wants to go with his, with, um, his battlefield. And Ryan's running the Rebel War Room, which you don't see very often in Django Veers. Django Veers kind of settled, and I think it's probably its best choice, on Frozen Wastes, and I think... In this matchup, most definitely Frozen Waste would be a very strong battlefield for Yango Veers to have because they're going to have it most of the time and taking yeah. away Poe's dice and even Leia's to some extent. She has some decent dice. So what uh, what's the ability for Rebel War Room? Oh, apologies. Yeah, Rebel War Room lets you resolve a dice on the field and not pay its cost. So you, often you see it in a couple different situations when there's uh, like a higher gun, yeah. which always costs money, or if you just want a dud. Uh, <laughs> it's very popular as, as one of the semi-dud uh, battlefields right. that are not going to help your opponent that very that much. Uh, Moss Eisley being the king of yes. the uh, dud battlefield uh, slots. You see that. Um, Django Virus goes so quickly, though, you're going to be able to take advantage of a, a battlefield. You want really want to try to do something that you're going to be able to leverage. And in Django Veers, you're even, a lot of times, not resolving one dice at a time. So you're not even going to use the special to go even faster. Yeah. So it's an interesting choice. So Leia rolls in and Django uh, reacts. And... <laughs> Full of damage dice. Boom, just like that. None of the big, big modifiers, but at the same time, Veers no, can pump damage. out... Veers can pump out some uh, some definite damage. So yeah, you see the strength of that deck. Six damage, first turn. Yeah, down, down, that stings. And he's got another one coming off of melee. So he's yeah. full straight damage. No rerolls. So you can see the power of the Pose special here, because he's going after the character with more health and one dice. Yes. With all his initial damage. Like, he could have cut a long way into Leah. Leah took the shields, but still, she's got the, the two dice, so he's going after half the dice just uh, to get rid of the post special. So just go to that IQA here to reroll some dice. Comes up with gets, four damage. Yeah, it gets more damage on uh, Leah. And a resource, uh, hopefully, it'll be something that he can leverage here. And he has 23 health to 19 for um, for the Django Veers player. So although Jingle Veers definitely had the better first turn, seeing how they got an upgrade out of it as well, and he unfortunately did not get anything. Yeah, but the only thing is here, uh, by the time Poe rolls, he could be facing fatal damage. So <laughs> Most definitely it's could. It's rough. Yeah. Did you see? Oh, something must have happened to the damage because he didn't actually... Hmm? There was no damage. I must have missed. Uh, I must have missed a control card. No, no. There's four damage right beside Django there. Oh, beside Django. Okay. I was gonna say. I was. Oh, you put it beside. Yeah, I'm used to the on top. Uh, interesting that he went for Django. I mean, everyone hates Django. Django has the upgrade, but it is a really deployable upgrade. So I would have thought about Veers there as the target if I was the the player, pole player. I mean, all things being equal, Django's ability to react is makes him a little stronger than. Oh, he's definitely stronger, and he's more points. But Veers dice are better. Yeah, it's a fit. I mean, redeployable, you really can't win. You either got to leave it or move it. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a tough choice, but you'll often see redeploy forces uh, will have people think strongly about the other characters, yeah. all things being equal. Um, Don's considering whether he wants to use the hit and run here. 
with the two with the bonus damage on Veers, if he doesn't use hit and run, he's not going to use the po dice. So yeah. with the the good the good chance Django's going to come in with uh, at least one block damage. Yeah, I didn't so. see. Unfortunately, Red doesn't have a lot, and he doesn't have the battlefield because uh, defensive positions is really their only control card yeah. instead of a flank or something like that. So hit and run is great for if you have a control card on Django too. Yeah. So does a hold up last round, Leia? Gonna hold, and he's also got a. I guess that's a, a much later game card. He's got the uh, strategic uh, planning for reading supports. Not gonna help him at all right now. Does he have any big? I didn't notice. Did he have any big upgrades of support in his hand so that hitting running poke could be really impactful? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I would with, with knowing that he had the holdout blaster, hitting and running, like putting the holdout blaster on Poe, hitting and running, mm -hmm. trying to get like now you have two dice that you can try to leverage, right? And you're not losing the the, the as we exactly. were just talking about with the redeploy. Yeah, I think that might have been a, a good play too. Of course, it's very easy when you do oh, when uh, you watch a bunch <laughs> of these games to offer your own feedback. And is he still sitting on the hit the trap? It's a trap. Oh, but holdout blaster is not a red dice, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. So not a great roll from Leah. Uh, but even worse roll from Django though. So <laughs> yes. He's feeling pretty good about things at this point. Uh, yes, but four cards to re-roll. I think oh, five oh, cards to re-roll. So the damage you, is coming through. Did uh, oh I don't think he took his action. No, he yes. The sometimes easy to miss um, fact that it's Django's turn after Django's reaction. Yeah. Oh no, it's hit and run. It wasn't Django's turn. Oh, you're right. It wasn't. Right. You're right. So he did the. So he's got the the special out. So, so he is going to try to unpredictables here. See if he can uh, kill Poe before he gets to move, and he cannot. Tactical, tactical mastery for a reroll with a resolve. Yeah, this is seems strange, but those are often really good plays for. Because yeah. you just want to yeah, pump the like damage a blaster through. there. So the blaster is going to be enough to kill Poe. Five, yeah, yeah. So he needed. I mean, the melee side wouldn't have helped him, but he had, I think, five um, uh, bl black uh, base sides of, of range damage on those three dice. So he had a pretty good chance. Yeah. So Don discards to reroll here. Not having a lot of luck. Does have a focus to work with, but... Actually, six bullets. Six So it'll be another two damage that goes well. No, it looks like there's some shields coming. So and going just as quickly. So uh, put one shield onto Django, and then the two uh, range damage from Leia uh, puts him at five total. So and uh, Don grabs a resource here for the last action. Yeah, and Django Veer is really showing off the power here. With one upgrade, he's chewed through 12 points of uh, <laughs> of uh, health on Poe, who is which makes second healthiest, or tied for second healthiest character in the game, right? right? Most robust. So Thermal Detonator, which I think is a little tech for three character lists. Again, not something you see a lot, but these decks can, can a lot of times have, if they do go into the mid and late game, a lot of money just sitting around. Because they're not using it for upgrades. It's tough. Well, most of the time, when it's going into the mid to late game, your characters are dying, though. So mm -hmm. you really want everything you're playing out to be. Uh, yeah, you don't want to damage to to keep that speed going. Absolutely, yeah. You don't see it a lot. Uh, but there was a a brief period in the meta um, in Toronto and other places where the like rainbow artillery four character lists yeah. became, pop which is a problem for Django Veers. The uh, four characters was actually presented a bit of a problem to Django Veers on yeah. because uh, there was wasted damage killing each of them. So in, in reality, they had, had more than 30 hit points for them to go through. All right. So let us showing four damage there. It looks like, which is maddeningly close, but not enough, unless you can come up with another one. And a lot of resources uh, that 
I don't think he's drawing oh. any cards to really help him on. So there is the one red card where you increase the damage by one, right? Uh, well, that's natural uh, talent. Oh, he's playing firepower. Firepower. Oh, on, on the range dice, yeah. So I was trying to figure out why he had activated only one of his ranged dice, and I figured that must be <laughs> for that reason. And, of course, Django got a second read of play on before he died. At this point, I don't know. He might as well uh, would have been attempting to try to wait until Veers had rolled. Rolled, yeah. Because he he would not have expected the fatal damage there. So I don't I don't think he would have played around the fact that Django was likely to die. So Yeah, I think you're right. I think that would have been a... A strong play to try to avoid this uh, two extra dice coming in on Veers. Oh, look at all that damage. So that's six total. Oh, that, two yeah. from the special on the F11 and four damage on the other dice. Yeah, Ryan certainly has got nothing to complain about. His, his dice luck this game has been really good. I mean, he's, he hasn't done any misplays or anything. I think he's played well, but his, his, his damage has just been superb coming out of these characters. So Django's dead, but there's half the damage. Uh, Leo's halfway dead as well, mm -hmm. and really doesn't have much honor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One more dice, and Veer's dice and Leia's dice are very similar. Uh, probably Veer's is better in this case because Leia has a focus, and, it's not, and she's not going to use it on a lot with only two, three dice on the table. While Veer's has that extra damage side. Yeah. So. Uh, Discards the fight dirty. Makes sense. He's got no. Both have a ton of resources. Do I see a take cover in, in Beer's player? That'd be interesting. Good. Okay, there's the I. Is that the IQA? I think he's considering playing. Yeah, but he has the battlefield, so I'm sure he's thinking. You know, <laughs> do I just get things out there? But. He can't do nine damage in what he's got. He can't. He, he, he needs to put something yeah. up there, just as long as he can do some dice mitigation. Jetpack. Spears <laughs> responds with more damage. Well, I mean, now theoretically it's possible for Don to roll fatal damage. Yeah. Uh, he'd have to roll perfect, but... Well, he's got a blank Leia dice to use that really rarely used special of Leia's. Oh, right. I don't think he really has to save the card, though. What, what is there special for people? Oh, who uh, you can remove a Leia dice uh, to re-roll two of your other dice. Of your other dice. It Yes, it's... Given the, the discard mechanic, it's very rarely used. But I have, playing when Leia, playing Leia Akbar, have used it on occasion just because I was playing against, like, Jabba Dooku or something who was trying to mill me out. Yeah. So Tactical Mastery is going to roll and try to finish her, finish Leia off before she can do anything about it. So, Because she does have the, mid, the battlefield, so she can do the defense position. Yeah. Ta Tactical or a Master dodge. I'm trying to do a better job of explaining some of these cards oh, for sorry. people who don't play as much. Tactical Mastery, of course, uh, it's one resource and allows you to take two actions. You have to spot a red character to do it, but there's one right there. Uh, and he's discarding a tactical mastery for uh, another reroll. I think it was a tactical mastery. It might have been a dug-in. That was a dug-in. Because why wouldn't you just tactical mastery, tactical mastery then? Reroll that crazy. <laughs> and he's got five, seven on the board. <laughs> just two pass between Leah needs and... Leia has a very little response. So you got one shield. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> and it's a trap. Uh, it's a trap. Wait a second. Does she have it's a trap in the hand? Because it's a trap would be three... Seven. Seven. Four, no, four, seven, nine. Plus three on the IQA. Two on Leia. Two on Leia. Plus two on the gun. Oh, the gun. the gun. The gun doesn't change. Yes. Yeah. That's why it's trap isn't the ultimate deck right now. <laughs> Keep from forgetting that. Too bad. He's showing it. He's, he's, saying, he's but, doing it because he's going to try to do damage. Yeah. He knows he's dead. But he's going to do the damage before he goes. And he, and he wants to say it. If we had audio, I'm sure there'd be a very good Akbar impression coming through the other there end. There might be. We'll, we'll have to see if we can include that. So that actually was very close. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so Gix being able to put down seven, um, if he could have survived a round, would have made it, made it very close. And removing all those oh, dice at once. He, and he had an aim in hand. Oh. So if, if they wasn't fatal damage, he mm -hmm. would have been able to set it up. And two and he had two dollars. Although and I didn't more, think I don't think he paid for the um it's trap. But yeah. Uh he might have. Because he's he still hasn't really deployed very many <laughs> That's true. upgrades. All right. Uh thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next time.